In the year of our Lord, 2018, William Moore of Swantonia did come upon The Last Kingdom Season 3. Destiny is all. <laughs> Welcome back, you miscast miscreants, to another episode of Miscast Entertainment Movie Reviews with your host, Daisy Von Dutch. Yes! Hello to you, bludgeon lords. And your other host, William Davis Moore. On this episode, we're reviewing The Last Kingdom, Season 3. All right, Daisy, you had some things you wanted to say. Oh, oh, oh. well, first of all, first of all, please let me introduce my bludgeon drink. For you tequila enthusiasts out there, I shall produce the recipe later on. But please, let me indulge. <laughs> Utrid! Utrid! Son of Utrid! From Beverberg. <laughs> Netflix has done an amazing job. I really, 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 really love this series. I introduced Mr. William Davis Moore to this series. A few months ago, I was like, hey, bro, you need to watch this shit. I see the death of a king. And with him, his kingdom. War is coming. Danes march in numbers from north to south. When I am gone, my son will need you, Madrid. The king's illness is creating enemies of Wessex. I offer unrest and disloyalty towards Alfred. Tonight, Lord. You will break your oath to Alfred. I gave you glory. You must undo the past. You must destroy Alfred. I just want everybody to know out there in uh, TV land that Daisy Von Dutch is an actual Dane. If she traced her roots back, she's a freaking Viking, man. True, true to form. <laughs> Look at those freaking guns, man. The Last Kingdom Season 3 has a 92% uh, critics rating for Season 1. The uh, critics' rating uh, has not, however, come out for uh, season three. But the audience rating for season three is a 96%. It's hardcore, man. Not hard to believe once you watch it. You're like, yeah, uh-huh. So, guys, this this uh, series is actually based on a, a series of books written by Bernard Cornwell. Yep. Um, and it's really interesting because it is based in history it's now of course the series produced by chris c skins and executive producer is stephen bouchard they loosely based it in history but the books are amazing to read if you're a good reader and you love to read do yourself a favor read the books otherwise you can do what i love to do watch the shows um with the great cost phenomenal cost especially Utrid. Son of Uhtred. However, it is based on, you know, in the beginning stages of when England was developed, where you have the Saxons and the Danes fighting. Um, and unbeknownst to a lot of people, the Danes in this, in this period of history saw England as something not just to conquer and pillage and claim. They saw this as a place where they could really um, settle and gain ground and grow and so on. So there was a very big, strong battle between Saxon Dane to conquer the land and own it and make it their own. And I, I really appreciate that personally. I like that. Speaking of like history, though, I mean, what people don't understand about the English language is it's a derivative language from the old Danish, Viking, Swedish, mm -hmm. um, what we call English today. Like, for instance, the word sky is a Viking word. There is tons of like Viking language that became part of what we call the English language now. But yep. this show definitely like touches on that. Yeah, what are you drinking there, Mr. Moore? I'm drinking Barrel of Monks Wizard. Brewed yeah. right down the street in Boca Raton. So it stars Alexander Draymon, who plays yeah. Uhtred, son of Uhtred, or Uhtred of Bebenberg. Or Uhtred Ragnason. I like Uhtred Ragnason personally. I do too. I actually, that ring is about. Which means son of Ragna. He played Luke Ramsey in the third season of American Horror Story. 
I know you love that show. And he grew uh, up in the United States, France, and Switzerland, which is why he has this really unique accent, which I think works really well for his character. Yep, totally. A lot of people have compared this to the Game of Thrones. Without the magic. I think is a massive compliment. I mean, Lost Kingdom is a smaller production, it's obviously. Tiny. Yeah, yeah. It's a smaller production, obviously, but you know, to be compared to something as great and epic as the Game of Thrones um, is a pretty darn good compliment. And um, I tell you, if you don't watch this, if you like Game of Thrones and you don't watch this, you're missing out, man. Yeah, so it was produced originally by the BBC. Then uh, the BBC hooked up with Netflix to, to do an overseas uh, release of it. And then this last season is solely Netflix. The BBC's out. That's why you got all 10 episodes at the same time. Actually, before it was Netflix, it was only eight episodes. Yes, um, yeah. And I saw 10 episodes in series three, and I wanted to jump for joy. It was yeah. like, yes, more, more, give me more. I know, but I'm not a fan of 10 episode productions when you come from eight episodes, and that's because like at least one or two of them is going to be filler episodes, which they sure. had. You know, they had. I'm not gonna. This isn't a spoiler episode, so we're not gonna get into it. But Emily Cox is Brita. She's an Austrian actress based out of uh, Berlin. She did an episode of Homeland back in 2015. But other than that, I have no idea who that person is. <laughs> anyway, she's she's really awesome in the show. So she does a good job. Yeah, she's hardcore, man. Like I wouldn't want to. I, I don't even think I want to date her. She scares me. <laughs> uh, you got David Dawson as King Alfred. Um, he does an amazing job as King Alfred. Like he sells that that sickness that he has pretty good. And when I was doing research, I found out that sickness was more than likely Crohn's disease, um, yes. which would suck. He was also though in a previous role an understudy to Kevin Spacey, the infamous Kevin Spacey. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Then he got uh, Ethelwald. Everybody loves to hate Ethelwald. You know? Yeah. I, I hate that guy, but I liked him in the first two seasons. It was the third season. I did not like him. Um, but uh, he's played by Harry McIntyre. In real life, he's actually a really funny guy. Yeah, he's, he's hilarious. The, the speaks of him as the jokester uh, when they're filming. Um, I, I know, I'm sorry, just an interlude. They were filming this in Budapest. And right. um, and they were filming this the winter scenes where they were supposed to be shivering, freezing. They were filming it in blistering heat, hungry. Like a hundred degrees. Uh, this guy is just cracking jokes and trying to make the cast happy and keep them together. So he's he's really a cool guy. His character is crappy, man. You want to hate him all the time. Yeah, not all the time. I liked him a lot in the first two seasons. It's the third season where I thought he got kind of insane. All right, so everybody else I don't really care about. Let's talk about some, some logistics. Uhtred is hot. <laughs> I have to say, he's nice to look at, honestly. And truthfully, he may park his slippers. Mr. Uhtred of Bebenberg. You may park your slippers under my bed any day. Just so you know. Ultimately, I say, watch this shit, man. It's epic. I think you'll be hooked. You'll be foaming at the mouth for more. Um, and, you know, maybe a little bit more bludger and headache. But, no, really. It's a good show. It's really done well. It's produced well. Everything about it is good. It's good. I agree. It is good. It's so good, in fact, that you will be binging that shit until the peak hours of dawn. I think there's like 24 freaking hours at this point. Yeah, like 24 hours. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Miscast Entertainment Movie Reviews. And uh, as always, hit that subscribe button, man. Share us on social media, man. Hit the bell, man. Or woman. Or Viking. All right, guys, until the next time. Peace. Peace. Anyway, guys, let's get back to Uhtred. Uhtred, son of Uhtred. Uhtred of Bevenberg. Uhtred Ravnason. I can see him on the TV screen kissing that woman when he should be kissing me. And guess what? He can ride horses. Uhtred! He's so hot. And the year of our loyal and so That is epic.